Hello. Okay, today we're going to go over how to program for Bingo. First, you're going to go ahead and click on the maintenance icon. And once that comes up, which can take a moment, now we're going to enter the password. The password is ETMP at sign EGSOL. Once you enter that, select your program. Password for your organization will always be one. Enter. Now we're going to go over to Game Format. Here's where we're going to start making some changes. First, we're going to select Game 1. According to the program, Game 1 needs to be a regular bingo with no four corners. So first we're going to go ahead and update the game description. And we're going to come over here to the pattern names and we're going to select the correct pattern which is going to be a bingo line with no four corners. In this case, it will be just line. And if you see here on the on the right, we can go ahead and look through all the patterns. There should only be 12 for this particular pattern. Next, you need to click on the actual game program, and that will save the change. Select Game 2. According to the program, Game 2 Orange Sheet needs to be a double plus. So we're going to go down to the pattern's name, and we're going to look for what we believe would be the double plus. Just a tip. DBL is abbreviation for double. So we're going to look through the DBL list first just to see. This may be one, but I don't believe it is, and it is not. So we go down a little bit further down the list. Again, we're looking for double plus and double cross. Click on it, activate it, it matches the program on the sheet. Be sure to update your game description to match. and click on the icon. Next, Game 3. Game 3 is the green sheet. It should be a regular bingo, no four corners, just like Game 1. So again, we're going to go down to Patterns List and change it to just Line. Game 4, the yellow sheet, needs to be an inside frame. This is also known as a small frame. SM is the abbreviation for small. Be sure to update your game description following. Next is the pink sheet or game 5, which once again is a regular bingo, no four corners. Update the name and the pattern name. Next is game 6. This should be a six pack anywhere. Start with the number six and clicking down you'll see that right off the bat there's six pack easy. Easy typically is abbreviation for anywhere. This game also needs to be on the gray sheet. As you can see, it is on the blue sheet. After saving the game changes, we're going to change the color of the paper by clicking the gray. And you can see that it automatically updated on the sheet. Next, game seven. Game seven should be a regular bingo, no four corners. Update the game description, update the pattern name, and just like the last game, this game needs to be on the olive sheet. Select the olive color and you see it automatically updates. 
Next, game eight. This game should be four corners. Again, using the number four, CRN is an abbreviation for corners, and this is the game that we would want to select, four corners. This game is also supposed to be on the brown sheet, so we're gonna update that color. Next, game nine. Game nine is a regular bingo, no four corners. Once again, we're gonna update the game description, and then we're gonna select the correct pattern in the pattern names box. This game should be on the red sheet. After saving, we're gonna change it to red. Next, game 10. Game 10 is the progressive blackout. So we're gonna change the game description and then we're gonna change the pattern name. In this case, a blackout. Simply typing out black, the first option will be blackout, which is a coverall. This game needs to be played on the purple sheet, so we're going to update the color. And as you can see, we have now gone through our 10 games that needed to be created. We're going to just double check. Game 1 is game 1. Game 2 is set to game 2, and so forth, and so forth. This is a good, good thing to double check every time to ensure that your games are in order and using the correct sheets. Now you can see we have two extra games, game 11 and 12. We don't need these, so first let's select an empty sheet. Clicking the copy button, then collect, selecting the game button we don't need, hit the paste button, and it will now make that game unavailable or an empty slot. You can also, while holding the control key on the keyboard, click a blank available slot and drag it over to then copy over that game. Now that we've made all of our changes, head back to the header page, hit save, and then exit editor. Once that has saved, it will take us back to the main screen. Now we can double check our work. Let's click on maintenance again. Re-enter the password, which is the ETMP at EGSOL. Select your group. Remember that it is one enter. And now we're going to head over to game format. And now you can see that our game program has updated, saved, and matches what the program needs to be. However, sometimes a program change can not just be the change of the games, but maybe the change of the name that is displayed. In that case, we need to change the name that is shown. And we're going to change that. We're going to change it to Demo Program. We're also going to change that same name at format name as well. Inventory tracking and one last place. Go back to game format and at the very bottom you're gonna put that new game program name there. So there's at the bottom of game format and the three places on the header page. This will update the game na the session name on all the displays. Hit save and then exit. Okay, one last thing we need to do is we need to go and change the main pro player folder that this game is now saved in. You're going to hit exit, the password is 1, enter, then you're going to hit the Windows key and select the pro player folder. Once the pro player folder is open, you're going to select code keys, and we're going to select Border Town. Remember, in the beginning of this example, Border Town was the program that we initially started with. So first I'm going to change the name, Border Town to Demo program. Now that we have changed the folder name, next we need to go to groups.txt. This is the file that actually allows you to pick the program when you start your session or when you're editing. Once it opens, you can see it says Border Town. That's the name that we're going to change. So first we're going to change the first Border Town to Demo Program, then the second one to Demo Program, and lastly at the very end, 
to demo program. You can copy and paste if it is easier for you. You're going to save this, exit, and then now you should be able to open up the maintenance module and see that it is no longer going to say border town but demo program. This indicates that the change is taken and if you access it it will allow you to see the program. And you can see once it's logged in that demo program now matches the session name, format name, inventory tracking, and that last spot on the game format page. As well as you can see on the game format page that all the games are there. That is all. This concludes this training.